All right, turning things over to weather now. Fourth of July, it's going to be very hot across Kern County. The forecast here in Bakersfield, 110 degrees tomorrow. So just about as hot as today. Unhealthy air quality, not a lot of wind, just extremely hot. In fact, unusually hot for this time of year. Of course, this is usually as our summer uh, summer heat is peaking, but the last time we had 110 on the 4th of July was 1991. It's been a very long time since we've had this level of heat, and even if we're a little bit cooler than that, 108, 107, haven't seen those temperatures in about a decade. So this will be the hottest 4th of July in at least 10 years potentially even longer than that. And even as we head toward the fireworks, it's going to be extremely hot as the fireworks are probably just getting started here in Bakersfield about 100 degrees. So if you're going to be outdoors at all for the 4th of July, take it easy, wear light clothing and stay hydrated. It's going to be very important to stay hydrated with this level of heat lasting into the evening. Just dangerous heat out there for tomorrow, and that'll be the case all across Kern County. We'll get into the forecast right now. Look at the overnight lows tonight. Just very, very warm. We are likely not going to fall below 80 degrees here in Bakersfield. Overnight lows in the 80s for many of our desert locations too. So even very early tomorrow morning, it's going to be warm and it's going to be very, very hot by the afternoon. Near 115 for places like China Lake and Ridgecrest. Cal City comes in at 110 degrees. 94 in Tehachapi, 104 at Lake Isabella. And 110, as we said, for us here in Bakersfield and really anywhere where you're looking at fireworks into the evening hours, it's only going to be five, maybe at the most 10 degrees cooler as those fireworks are going off. So it's going to be a warm night in addition to a very hot day all across Kern County. Again, do your best to stay cool and hydrated. A little bit of wind in the forecast too, especially over in the desert. So hot, dry and windy. We're also looking at some high fire danger. We've had lots of fires spark already here today. Just a lot to be concerned with. And again, this weather pattern isn't breaking down anytime soon. We are going to be staying very hot for a very long time. Let's get into it here, starting with your day planner for the 4th of July. Triple digits here, probably right around noon. Air quality again unhealthy, so another reason that it's maybe best to just stay inside tomorrow. 109 by 4 p.m. will peak at about 110. We'll have more on the air quality coming up a little later in the show. 109 for Friday, 112 and 111 for the weekend. Temperatures showing some signs of falling a bit as we head toward the end of the forecast. I'm hopeful that we can lower those numbers a little bit, but Again, we're still hovering right around 110 for the foreseeable future, an extremely long stretch of very hot weather. Lake Isabella as hot as 108 degrees for Saturday. Tehachapi almost 100. Fraser Park just a few degrees behind. No matter where you are in Kern County, it is going to be hot for the 4th of July and for the foreseeable future.